Honorable member from Tyne Valley, Sherbrooke, the opposition whip. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We've talked at length in this House about our frontline health care workers, and for good reason. Islanders have always known the important role that these professionals play in our communities, and this past year has only highlighted this. We've had motions thanking our frontline health care workers where many of us have stood up and praised them for their work. They deserve every word of thanks that we have offered. But then health care workers respond with their challenges and concerns and suddenly some members of this House become quiet or even worse, defensive. The number one issue that I'm hearing from health care workers is the lack of respect and value that they feel from this government. It is ironic given how often government says they value them. But when you look at what government has actually done, you start to understand the issue. It's no surprise to anyone here that health care <coughs> workers are overworked. Government has thrown some money towards recruitment, and that's a good step. But we need to retain the professionals that we have. We need innovative recruitment approaches. We need to move beyond incentive tunnel vision. Incentive, uh, sorry, innovative recruitment approaches also serve to act as retention supports. If we implement supports that workers want and need, more professionals will want to work on PEI and those who are here will want to stay. It's a win-win. The opposition have brought forward some such initiatives in our operational budget requests. Would these initiatives require some work and costs to implement? Yes. Are our health care workers worth it? We think and know that they are. We have discussed the possibility of 80% contracts or a four-day work week for public employees, including health care workers. This would mean full-time pay, but 80% work. Difficult? Yes. But what an impact this would have on work-life balance that our health care professionals are asking for. Wouldn't it also be a major incentive to come and work on PEI? Child care, Mr. Speaker, is one issue that so many health care workers struggle with. The long hours, the shift work making finding child care a struggle. In our budget submission, our caucus requested dedicated child care facilities on hospital premises for essential workers. We also requested an essential worker bonus for those workers who did not qualify for the last financial incentive last spring. Again, a small show of value and respect. Our health care staff have gone over and above this past year. Our physicians, nurses, paramedics, physiotherapists, respiratory therapists, and so on and so forth have all worked so hard. The opposition firmly believes that we need to start seeing action behind the pretty words and we will continue to hold this government's feet to the fire until we see it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.